All right, today we're gonna make an addition to the farm, or excuse me, the homestead, right? What are we adding to the happy homestead? The pigs. Pigs? Are you sure? Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Are y'all excited? Mm -hmm. And then another animal you have to feed. This is Kobe with the Max Happy Homestead. What are we going to do today, guys? Get pigs. Get pigs. Where are we getting them from? Alderman Farms. Alderman Farms. Perfect. So, we have big, me and Aiden has built a, a pig pen and uh, got a tractor stuck in there. So, we've been working hard at trying to get the big pig, uh, pig pen done. So, now we're going to go pick up our two new little pigs. So, hopefully, they will grow off good pigs for us and then also make good uh, either bacon or pork chops or something like Sausage. that. Sausage. Huh? Sausage. Okay. So that's why we're getting them, so uh, join us in the back. successfully loaded them in the pen from Alderman Farm. Alright, we are back home. Let's just get the two pigs unloaded into their little pen. We gotta get a name for them. I gotta be thinking of a name. You know a name yet? Uh, we gotta get it. What do you think about it, May May? Aiden's getting a little feeder and we're gonna put the, some food out for them. Um, we got to get some names guys y'all got to come up with some names for the, the new little piggies It's got a little boy I and a little girl. I think I, I know. What? I think Judy. Di Judy? No, Diamond and uh... <laughs> Diamond? Yeah. Alright, we'll have to think about that. Aiden, what do you think? Judy. Judy. <laughs> Diamond. Diamond. <laughs> Not Judy and Diamond. Alright, so we finished the, the, the pig pen. Uh, it's a two by two panel at the bottom and a cow panel at the top. I think they're gonna be okay and they shouldn't have to get out. They should get used to it. But until they get used to it, we may put them in that, that dog fence over there or build something that's kind of tighter so that way they won't try to escape out of this pen here. Uh, I don't think they can get their nose under it, but just in case, uh, we sure don't want them to get out. So uh, let's go look at them again. So we're not naming them Judy and Diamond. So what's their names? Hey guys! Mr. Daddy. Mr. Daddy, we already got a daddy -o. But that's not the exact same. What do you want to name him? Alright, give me your idea. We'll ask mommy. What do you think? What about soon to be dad and soon Juliet? to be mom? Juliet and Judy and Diamond. What's your names, Aiden? What do you think? Dad and mom. No. Alright, what's yours? Uh, Juliana and... Uh, Juliana, so we got Judy, Juliana, what did you say? You don't know Juliet. What do you think? <laughs> She's scared. All right, so let's get them unloaded. Alright, close our gate. Ellie, you get out. Aiden, you and Ellie get out. Hold on, let me help you. Get that other red strap that we have there. All right, they are officially part of the Max Happy Homestead. Hattie Mae is just trying to get acclimated to see, okay, who, what are these? Are these little puppies? Are these little calves? Are these little chickens? She has not ever seen a pig, so I think she's just trying to accommodate herself with them. <laughs> All right, so a little boy pig, a little girl pig, so we got a sow and a boar. Um, our goal is to breed them have little pigs. These are American guinea hog. 
Um, so they're not going to get real big. They're not really a pork. Uh, I mean, excuse me. They're not really a bacon uh, pig. They're more of a lard pig. So they're going to make good pork chops. Uh, hopefully, um, some good meat, some good sausage meat. But uh, really not getting big enough to do like a feeder hog to do um, bacon. So uh, we're going to see how these go, and uh, hopefully we enjoy them. But they have calmed down. They were a little crazy when we first got them from Alderman Farms. I think it's just because they've never been moved. They were getting away from their, their mama. So I think now they've kind of moved. They've calmed down. They've ate. We've got this little uh, transport case that we brought them in. Uh, it's got some hay in it. And they've been hanging out in it and eating. So if they go back in there, we may even keep them in it tonight just to kind of make sure they're safe and make sure they don't try to get out. We've got uh, basically cattle panels going down here. And then we've put chicken wire around the bottom. And <laughs> heavy board against it so uh you know they're an investment so our goal is not to let them get out it's not like a cow a cow we can get back in uh it'd be kind of hard to get these little piglets back in but uh we're excited to have them uh guys are y'all excited yeah. yes. you're excited all right probably, what are we what we're probably gonna name them peppa and george peppa and george why are we naming them peppa and george you think hey really peppa, peppa pig because it's a pig and because y'all like that show or just say they like that show? It's just a pig name. Just a pig name? Okay. Well, we're getting ready to end. We just want to show you an update on the hogs. What do we say, ha ha uh, Harley? Happy homesteading, y'all. Happy homesteading, y'all. Y'all have a good day. the happy homesteading y'all when we got done with these pigs yesterday and that video is supposed to come up but uh this is the the rest of the story um about 10 o'clock i came out and checked on them flashlight them they were in their pen doing great and then from 10 to 4 i, I milk at 4 so at 10 to 4 um they got out and they had a prison break and literally for six hours we've been tracking these pigs now we've seen them just about every 20 or 30 minutes they knew where their food was however you know when you're trying to catch a 25 pound pig two 25 pound pigs running across 10 to 15 acres um, it's almost impossible but we we let them sit for a while we put food in we had a little cage in their cage they were sleeping in which is that cage there they rode in it's got hay in it um, we were able to put it in here and just make a little catch pin out of a out of a little dog fence now they all they they tested this dog fence so what we're going to do we're going to secure it a little bit more so our our uh, investment from alderman farms has not gone for naught so far so thanks tommy and patty <laughs>